everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim Classic video. This is an exciting one. So good morning driver, allow your passengers to board in preparation for 35 past departure. You want to set the destination panel, use control plus F12 to scroll. Okay, let's do that. But yes, I'll tell you why it's very exciting in a minute. Uh, let's quickly get this set before we forget how to do it. Uh, through London to Pank. That one there. Cool, well, let's get the train set up, get the doors open, let everyone be happy. So let's get that in. Neutral, AWS self test. Uh, we're in the triple two for this run. We're not actually going the full way, but what we are doing is the new bit. Uh, this is a steam workshop route, which already just makes it exciting. Um, and it is, yeah, it fills the gap between the Just Trains sort of Midland Mainline network and the um, Dovetail Games Midland Mainline, which is uh, London's Pancras to Bedford, uh, on sort of the Midland Mainline South. Uh, so we're going to head as far as Bedford on this run, because that's the, well, the new bit. And then, well, the other, the southern bit we've already seen many, many times. Um, so, yes, it's a free route in the workshop. There's a few requirements for it. That's why we're a little bit late to this video. Uh, so, thanks to Dovetail for giving me a couple of the requirements to show this route off. Uh, I mean, that's what I like doing. I like showing off things the community have done. And um, obviously, when it comes to the UK stuff, I mean, sign me up. Um, so yeah, apologies, it is a little bit later than planned um, to the creator there. We would have shown it off much sooner, but we're here, we're doing it. I'm excited to be doing a pleasure as usual. Um, right, Market Harbour next in 16 miles. I can't remember if you get a guard on this one. I can't remember if you do or not. I mean, the doors definitely are shut. I guess we don't. Oh, we do. We do. Was it B or C? Where's the signal button? Nice. Right, uh, let's get going out of uh, Leicester. Hopefully the, um, the audio is alright. Now, I think Leicester's from the Just Train through, so... Oh, you've probably seen that bit before, but this is all new. Uh, and from the comments on the workshop, it seems to be, you know, it's got good praise. So, um, well, I'm looking forward to seeing it in basic. I've not actually been on this part of the Midland Mainline in real life. The only bit I've been on is up to Bedford. Uh, and that was on First Capital Connect uh, many years ago. Yeah, I have turned that audio right down, so hopefully you can still hear the train all right. I might actually turn it up a bit, just because I feel like it might be a little bit too low. I'll whack it there, so hopefully that's all right. For the external, I mean for the internal, it should be, should be just fine. Right, let's get that. It doesn't seem too noisy when you're on the inside, it's just when you're on the outside, like that. Cool, well let's get going, let's get out of uh, Leicester. And we also, we all know that bit as well from Trains in Wales, that's the Skyhook. Um, games is Midland Mainland from Leicester to Derby and Nottingham. So yeah, we'll, we'll continue in the run on. I mean, the, there's so many exciting possibilities of what we could do. I mean, d send me as many scenarios you can of, uh, as many scenarios of you can of HSTs on this route. Send them over to me on Discord or whatever. I wanna, I wanna do a, I wanna do a combined journey using the. Um, I mean, I suppose you could actually do the full Midland. I mean, the, the full Midland Mainline is now in the game. You've got Sheffield. That's just trains down to. Oh, yeah, you can do the full thing now. In Train Sim Classic, but if you want a bit TSW, you get that in there. You're knotting them to St Pancras. Using Skyhooks with the main line in this. Off we go. I think it's, um, I mean, how many miles is it? About 45 to 50 miles? Yeah, I mean, by the time when we had left Leicester, it would have been about 50. 
Yeah, it's about, well, 49, 50 miles. And yeah, just remember this is free. So if you see anything that looks a bit off or not, you know, fantastic, just remember it's free. Man, I can't say anything wrong about this because I, I don't know this uh, part of the middle of the but I mean, detail-wise, you know, it's got everything there, houses, trees, and uh, a nice bit of foliage, so, you yeah, know, looks good so far. And yeah, from, as I said, from the comments I've seen on the um, workshop sort of upload page, uh, which I'll leave a link for below, it seems to be, you know, all good, sort of all good, um, all good messages. So, fantastic, it's great to see these sorts of scales of projects. Uh, or the scale of a project being on the Steam Workshop. It's like the Southeastern Network by Nicholas. It's fantastic to see those types of things on the workshop. You know what, yeah. It's just been a while since I played Train Sim Classic because they, they brought out that update. Remember the game breaking update? Matt, I thankfully didn't install that. But it just, I don't know, the game just seems worse off since that update. Uh, or at least the one which then fixed it. Because now, quite often I'll get the vertex error. I mean, what on earth is a vertex error? Never had that before. I don't know if that's like the new out of memory error. So I've sort of been put off a little bit. But I thought, you know, I have to come back for the film. What's going on over there? It's like fire. the uh, well, next to the uh, boundary fence so we get a nice bit of speed on us cool so this is like sort of the the bit of the middle of the main line you just forget Bedford to Leicester like you know everybody everybody knows Leicester Derby not in Derby Sheffield and all that sort of stuff and I think Nottingham up to Sheffield that way as well but this bit, I don't know, it's just that bit. <laughs> so sort of like, yeah, the bit, that sort of, I suppose the, the most popular bit is probably the southern bit. You know, from um, London, London up to uh, Bedford and then sort of above that it's like, uh, where, what? Or maybe that's just me. as well. I mean, so far, um, it looks, well, great. I can see sort of a few things loading in, uh, loading in in the distance, but I reckon that's probably something for the new train, some classic update. So I just thought this part of the middle of the mainland was like quadruple track, straight most of the way, but I mean it seems like we're sort of quite windy so far, a bit up and down. No, I, I just assume yeah, it was basically yeah, 125, quite straight the whole way. Got a canal there, that's nice. What time are we due into Bedford? Have we sort of got a timetable? Well, some Pancras 12.01. So, 50 minutes before that, that would be, what, 11.21-ish, so, yeah, yeah, it's just about, well, actually, no, it's faster than that. Bedford to St Pancras, fast one is, what, 45 minutes? I think, possibly not even, no, yeah, it's about 40 minutes, isn't it? So, but yeah, it still would be, yeah, 11. 1120 ish, so yeah, we got a bit of a way. I'd say a bit about 40 minutes. We're only stopping at Market Harbour. Actually, we've got quite a few stations actually to Bedford Market Harbour, Kettering, Wellingborough, and then uh, Bedford in 40, or 40 miles already. Um, so yeah, it's not going to take us too long to get down there. Uh, workers there, trackside, or 
line side, I should say. That would be the uh, correct terminology. Line side is when you're ba well. Basically, that, there's the boundary fence up there. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. When you're within the boundary fence, uh, but three meters away from the running line, because uh, it's when you're. Oh, it feels like it's hard to explain, but it's not hard to explain. Like I know it, but it's like trying to word it so then everybody understands it. Yeah, line side is when you're within the boundary fence. Um, but three meters away from the track and then when you're three meters from the track or on the track it's called on or near the line but here's sort of the well not the weird thing but you're not line side if you're um, if you're on a platform if you're on a platform you're not line side which does make sense ish What was the other sort of weird one? Yeah, and I think it's if you're at a level going over a level crossing, you don't count as being on or near the line. It's like its own sort of separate thing. Yeah, that's railway PTS. Got a little orange card on my uh, pers personal self. <laughs> This is really not what I expected from this part of the Midland Mainline. I honestly thought it was quadruple track. Thought like Leicester to um, East Midlands Park, but I thought it was like that. So it's quite a sort of surprise to see it's not like that. Yeah, looking nice though. Got the hills in the distance there. I'm going to save it quite regularly as well because, yeah, Transom Classic sort of recent crashes. Bit uneasy about that. Looks like it's also bi directional running. So I suppose it's probably, sort of, well, you would expect that from a main line where it's only two tracks like the Brighton main line south of uh, Three Bridges. It's B, uh, BD. Got 85, let's start popping that down. A bit, little bit more than that. We've got 60 as well. That must be coming into Market Harbour then. Can't imagine it would just come down to 60 for sort of the fun of it. Yeah, I guess that must be Market Harbour. Yeah, it will be. So, as it's a Steam Workshop route, I don't think there can be custom assets on it. Although the Southeastern Network, that does have, I'm pretty certain the, the stations have their own sort of signs, which I think are, do count as sort of custom. But we'll see. I'm down to 60. This is really quite nice of a journey. So, sort of from what I expected to what we're seeing on here. It's very much like the um, the Derby to Sheffield section, apart from all bits less hilly. Sort of two tracks winding, winding its way. Down a bit more as we come up to Market Harbour. Try and get a nice screenshot at some point. That's another fire. Oh my god, the amount of fires going on here. What's going on? <laughs> maybe, right, maybe they're cold. Really? This is Market Harbour? <laughs> I thought this was like a big station or something. So as I, said, I don't know this part of the Midland Mainline, but sort of Market Harbour. And I've seen that on the maps and stuff, and think oh, it must be quite sort of a grand station. But um, well, not really. Right, we are eight coaches long. Just looking for the eight coach top marker, which is at the end of the platform. On the left, there, we need to have a look and says that some like 
yard here. Some sidings. Oh, this is Market Harbour. Not as sort of a grand station as what I was expecting. There we are. Looks good, though. Look at that. Butter there. one. Right, uh, it'll be was at Kettering next. I think it was Kettering. Uh, but it's part time 10.49. Well, that would be now. Wait for the guards to ping us. Come on, guard. Hurry up. What's he up to? I know we're seven coaches. I've just realised that's seven. Minutes, seven. Look like we had um, two fours on there, but no, we are seven. But well, we're still in the right place. So we're in the seven coach stop marker. Try and get a nice uh, shot up here as well. I'll try our best to at least. What can we get? Can we get like the station in as well? Hmm. Don't know if I use that one, but we'll see. Off we pop. to 100 miles per hour. I'm just going to save it again. Do not trust train some classics since that last update. Uh, and to Kettering, we're about 10 miles. And we're now 32 miles away from Bedford. I mean, that's gone quick. I mean, what time did we leave? Um, it was 10, yeah, 10.35. So, I need 15 minutes to go. And we've already done almost 20 miles. Not too bad going. Ignore the speeding, ignore the speeding. And up to a hundred. Yeah, I mean, I said considering this is a freeware route, I mean, this looks, uh, well, the same as, say, like a payware route, <laughs> if not better in, in some, so, well, some of the payware routes on Steam. Let's just look. Uh, even the newer ones. Cool. Wonder if this was, I wonder if this was one of those passion projects. I mean, there must be a, a, a reason or story behind why this route. I mean, I suppose, yeah, because you've got the Just Trains and the Dovetail ones to sort of connect them together, but that's a lot of work. That is just the reason, just to connect those um, those two up. Which of it is, fair enough. Nice and quick along here. I need I need to I need to journey out this way. I need to I need to discover what's above Bedford, Peterborough, and Milton Keynes. <laughs> That's like the cut-off point of where I've been on the train. Need to go further. I think it's all of those trips were years ago. Well, Peterborough was 2019. Yeah, October 2019 I went to Peterborough. Milton Keynes was when it was London Midland with the 32. I, mean, I did. I did. I went on a 321. I think it was a 321. So that was 20. 20. 15 or 16. Bedford was first Capital Connects, so that would be 20. 
14, yeah, it would be 2014. Uh, as, as I went on, no, I didn't do that, no. What else did I go on? Uh, yeah, what was the other one I said? No, there's all of them, yeah. That's all of them. It's all on the main, main lines. Been on the Great Western main line, but that's sort of still south, so. Chilton main line, never been on that. Great Eastern main line, never been on that. What's this station? What are we about to. I don't know, there was a station here, but no. There is some sort of town coming up there, so there might be a station. We're not stopping it. So at some point we get the branch from Corby joining us, won't we? Corby, where's that? That's it must be here. Yeah, all right, yeah, oh yeah, buzz buzz. Yeah, where's the where's that? That's uh Oh we're coming up to that quite soon actually. Yeah, the so I think that's where the electric or well, actually I don't know I don't know when this is really set, but that's when the juice wires um realistically go as far as at the moment as you get the EMR class 360 um, which runs up to Corby so yeah depending on when this is set we might see electric wires uh, quite soon the juice the juice wires <coughs> diesel is like something you just don't get much of where I am. I think the nearest diesel line to me would be either the Uckfield branch or the North Downs line. Here it's got the Marsh link as well. Sort of in between all of those. Oh, we've got 90 coming up. That might be where the... Uh, the branch line from Corby joins us. Well, that, that, that does continue past Corby, or is it a dead end? I feel like it does continue. I don't know. No, because I was looking. I think it does continue past, but I don't have any services to go past it. I don't know. So my railway geographical knowledge of this area again is just only main lines. Now here it is joining up now, and there isn't any. Yeah, there's no juice wires, so this must be set set a few years ago. I suppose the the southern part of this route, uh, Midland Main Line South, that would be 2014-15, so maybe it's sort of in line with that. Although this scenario we're doing is based off the real uh, timetable 2009. 2009 May timetable, or May-June timetable. Oh speed a little bit. It's alright, it's alright, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. It's all good. So we've got another trail. I'm good at speeding on Train Sim Classic. On Train Sim World I'm like more like can't speed, can't speed. But on here, you know, a little bit, it's alright. Right, so we're coming up to uh Kettering this one we're coming up to. I bet is this gonna have like a big grand station? It's now quadruple track. What's this station going to be like, or is it going to be like just a not that fancy, exciting station? So there's quite a bit of a downhill gradient. It's proper steep down here. Not the hills around this area are called. It's been quite hilly. Okay, this has got what an island. Yeah, get full sir. Come on, trains, just slow down. Your brakes are rubbish. Although the gradient we're on is, is understandable, why? Right? Where we are, this is Kettering. Well, this isn't the right station. right to the end of the platform. I like the way the stop mark is included. On some routes they just seem to be non-existent and that's on payway routes. 
Turns out it's out on a free route. There's the stop markers. And limited clearance signs as well. Again, if you want to give this a go, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, very much worth checking out. I mean, what we've seen so far looks fantastic. There's not really anything I've sort of seen which looks really out of the blue. Get a few sort of screenshots as we go along. What's going to be? Be departure time of 10:59. That means we're on time. It is. We're on time. Fantastic. Six miles to uh, Wellingborough. So we get the doors shut. Actually, the guards probably already closing them now. Actually, so but by the time he's done that and buzzed us, it should be about time. There we go. stop is Wellingborough and we are now only 22 miles away from Bedford. Only 22 miles. That's a Pank 71 or the running going to Bedford as that's but that's the new bit. We've seen the Midland Mainline South lots. Uh, I think that's actually there's an um, there's a new version of the Midland Mainline South being released from Alan Thompson Sim. Uh, so looking forward to seeing that. That's gonna be set modern day. Thameslink and EMR purple trains. Right, up to 65, got an 80, got 105 coming up. It's been a nice journey so far. So is, is it now going to be quad track mainline or is it going to go back into two tracks? Why number number two? very much for us, although that's not. <laughs> That'd be one which will definitely trick you. Alright, it goes into single. I guess that's coming back onto this, and then we'll then two tracks. Depends where that one's then going. Or is it going to be like the bit between um, Leicester and Siston? No, Silby? Yeah, Siston, where it's a, sort of a free track job. be there in no time if the game doesn't crash. There we go. I know there's already been a few updates to this sort of addressing issues and um, I think there was a couple of bits of scenery like bridges and stuff which were a bit sort of wonky. But um, yeah I think there's been a few updates to this since it released which apparently I think on Steam it says the original upload was Mid September, no, so it's like twentieth of September. But I don't know if that was it was still private then, and then it got set public until sort of mid October. So we were a little bit late to the party. So again, I do apologise for that. Um, although I, I think we probably I, I can't see any other videos on YouTube on this, so we're still yeah we're still you know first ish. It's great to promote um, workshop routes, especially when they're sort of you know all of this scale. Yeah, fifty miles is no easy, easy feat, and especially as it, you know as it's been looking, 
um, you know, a lot of uh, sort of attention details gone into this. I mean, yeah, limited clearance signs are on here as well. I don't know, actually, I've never seen a no refuge sign on um, Train Sim Classic or Train Sim World for that matter. I'm speeding again, right? Oh, that's alright. Up it down. Obviously, he's everywhere, look. It's quite late as I'm recording this, so uh, I'm a little bit tired. Been on a whole week of. Uh, well, basically 6 a.m. starts, so that means getting up uh, quite early. Well, I'll start popping that down. That was not far at all to uh, Wellingborough. That was only six miles, wasn't it? That was really quick. Let's pop that down. The brakes are just rubbish on this train. service go on it still comes down pretty slowly in full service but now we go as we come into Wellingbrook so we've got a few sheds about as well nice oh we got there is that a HST it's a HST in in the main line of real wow that's really nice to see was missing some textures though underneath well, that's probably one of my downloads that was this station like then that's like oh this is this, what three yeah three platforms it's an old footbridge cool So you had another fourth platform over there as well, but obviously not anymore. This looks really, really good. And just remember, this is free. Well, th you do need to earn the requirements. But, I mean, you could just download this with only two of the requirements. It would still work. Um, obviously, ideally, one all of them. list of requirements as well. There we are. This is uh, Wedding Bro. This would be better for a uh, screenshot. Here to Bedford, was it 17 mile? Oh my god, I don't know. They are very much on or near the line. <laughs> so, is that spot? That's probably what the 10 foot. I mean, that's going to be sort of the 10 foot in between the, the lines ish. Sort of. At 11.06, again, we're actually bang on time. Next, you've got another 4 foot, 6 foot, 4 foot cess. Well, no, no, that's 10. That's what the ten foot isn't it there. Let's get the uh, so obviously there used to be another line there, see that would be the ten foot. Yeah, Alright, yeah. Let them know we're here. Yeah, because obviously that used to be another another track there, so that that is the ten foot. Cool. We are off. And the train we're driving is the Just Trains Advanced Triple Tree, Triple Two. Uh, which you can get from the Just Train site or on the Steam store. It's one of the better trains in the game. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not. It's not as good as an AP train, uh, but yeah, it's, it's all right. I mean, there's, it's quite an old train as well now, so for its age, and it, yeah, it's decent.
far was it? Oh, 14 miles. Wow, that really is not far then now. That's gone really quick. So we will be there at about 20 past. Are we going over? What's this? A river bridge? That's like some sort of old bridge we're going Save the game just as we are quite far now. Not need to muck it up. And up to 110. Yeah, right, yeah, buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm just looking at because I've got um, my sort of nabbed. They were throwing away some old maps, um, well, sort of poster maps um, from the station, the uh, the London and the South East Rail Services one. So, of course, I had to take one home. Um, so, I've got a massive map now on my wall. It's fantastic. So I've seen if uh, this part was on here, but no, it only goes as far as Bedford. Another triple two there. It's like one of the best things about working at the station is being able to take home any old posters and maps and stuff. But some of the posters are quite cool, and you know, if they're past a sort of um, use by date or expiry date, they just go in the bin. So, yeah, take them home and stick them up, and whatever, frame them. Hundred and eight miles an hour. Oh yeah, we're gonna be at Bedford in absolutely no time. Already ten miles, that's four miles in like two minutes. Three minutes at a stretch. Where did that other line go off to? It sort of just went off, didn't it? It was like that, nah, not gonna be with you anymore. Is that some sort of freight um line? Oh no, it oh, joins back up. How weird. But does it? Shambrook Tunnel North. Why on earth is that going in a tunnel? <laughs> what is that line? It's not this, is it? Oh, it is. Comment, someone comment below. Why is uh, that sort of bit of track there? Is that like the old alignment? Must be something like that. Is that like the old alignment of the. Uh, of the middle of the main line and they then built this bit and they were like, oh this bit's you know the better one so they shut that one. There's a tunnel. Yeah. Is that is that the old alignment? What trains go on there? Or is it disused? That's like probably the slower services, wouldn't it, on there? Joining back up. Oh, 110 round here. This is quite a corner. Oh, you feel that as we got jolted uh, to to the right. Round we go. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost out of Bedford now. It's been um, yeah, it's been it's, it's always nice showing off a, a new route, when, especially when it's sort of well a bit down my neck of the woods in the south. So on TSW recently, it's the same north, 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 north. And same with trains some classic, really. But we haven't really had many releases, but I mean, the Huddersfield line, that was the uh, the last UK one, and that was up north. And it's quite a nice sort of, yeah, a bit more south again. Got to be a station, where was this place? Got to be a station here. No, no, just another, another bridge. That's what we're looking at. That's got to be a canal. That's the canal again. Yeah. 
six miles now, it's just absolutely flying down. Now double track again on that side. There's actually a new station as well. Uh, whilst we're talking about, as we mentioned, the station, there is actually a new station being built on the middle of Mail 2, actually. There's Brent Cross West. That one's, well, by the time you're seeing this video, it's pro probably open. Um, and yeah, the new one coming is Wixom's, which is going to be in between Bedford and Flitwick, but probably, yeah, it's closer to Bedford, I'd say. Which is going to serve well the new sort of housing estate there at Wixom's. Well, that's not going to get air service later than I think nine or ten, ten-ish, as they're only building platforms on the um, the up and down slope. And apparently, Network Row have to I know, carry out works on the slows quite frequently past sort of ten-ish. journeyed on like this part of the uh, the sort of bit not really many people mention <laughs> it's always Derby, Nottingham, Sheffield Bedford, St Pancras but never, oh yeah we get a bit of Kettering, Market Harbour so I wonder if another update for this Steam Workshop one will be adding Corby in so I don't think it's too much further up from um well, where it sort of splits off. So I wonder if that will be in within one of the next updates of the route. Oh, excuse me. So I'm just let it coast now. Uh, platform one at Bedford. So yeah, this one probably gonna be swinging across. We've got forty coming up. That's why I'm getting the. Uh, the flashing uh, signals, another gym route. Cool. And there's Bedford. There it is. Yeah, so we've actually done this bit, like where we are now, because. Um, sort of default Midland Mainline South route sort of has a little tiny bit past Bedford one of the Just Trains triple two scenarios starts sort of like here I think it's actually by this sort of next signals or next set of signals yeah about here well there we have it oh well that was brilliant and um, I mean yeah something you would uh, would expect sort of within a payware TSC route so considering it looked really nice is is great Does complete the middle of main line, I believe. So Kent is really good. And then from Bedford to St Pancras, I probably could play like that, but we're not going to go that far. You got Flitwick, Harlington, Leegrave, Luton, Luton Airport, Parkway. Harpenden, St Albans City, Radlett, Elstree and Boreham Woods, Mill Hill Broadway, uh, you've got Hendon, Brent Cross West, uh, Cricklewood, West Hampstead, Thameslink, Kentish Town and then St Pancras. I 
I'm sure we've all seen that video, but yes, that, that is the that bridge ahead of us is the bridge where that first capital scan 377 got its pantograph chopped off. There we are. Well, wow, there we go. That is going to be everyone uh, for today's a little bit short mark, that's all right. For today's uh, well twenty seven plus I'm just sitting in there if it's quieter. For uh, yeah, for this uh, run of the Midland Main Line, uh, the Workshop Midland Main Line, which runs well from Leicester down to Bedford. Hopefully, it well, and obviously merges it, then you can go up to St Pancras. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. I'll leave a link below if you do want to give the route a go yourselves. Links can be found in the usual places: Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, we're on time. Yeah, three minutes early actually. Well, that thanks all for coming in, and I hope we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.